Okay. Now, once again, we want to re-explain this idea that binomial coefficients are used to solve this basic enumeration problem of how many ways can we distribute m identical objects into n distinct cells. The answer is going to be m minus 1, choose n minus 1. And the reason this binomial coefficient equation is the correct answer is that if we imagine the m objects lined up on a line, then m objects determine m minus 1 gaps. If we have n cells, then we can differentiate between those cells by having n minus 1 markers between them. So now of the m minus 1 gaps, I choose, choose, that's the, the basic property that a binomial coefficient does. I choose n minus 1 gaps. In those gaps, I put vertical divisor lines. And then that determines a distribution. And because I put the vertical lines in gaps between any two lines, there will always be at least one object. And that makes the distribution satisfy the rule that all cells are non-empty. Again, in this case, the distribution actually illustrated is 6, 2, 4, 7, 1, 3. And you can see that by noting that to, in the leftmost bin, in the leftmost cell, there are six letter A's. And then in the second cell, there are two letter A's, then four, etc. And every distribution corresponds uniquely to a particular choice of n minus 1 gaps among the m minus 1 gaps. So that's our basic formula. And over the next few minutes, we're going to see ways to extend this formula to solve related problems. We're first going to reformulate that problem in terms of solutions in integers of an equation involving n variables. Now you should think of the variables as being cells. So when we say that x3 is 6, what that means is that six of your objects have been assigned to cell number three, to bin number three. Does that make sense? All right. So the first observation is just a restatement. There's no content to this. It's just an complete translation. The number of solutions to this equation in positive integers is m minus 1 choose n minus 1. Now, let's make sure that we all understand. We're, we're saying you can tell the difference between variable x2 and variable x4. That means the cells are distinct. But on the other hand, the integers that you're putting into them are identical. So it doesn't matter which integers, just it's the total that matters. So again, the reformulation is obvious, and the answer for the number of ways that you can do this with positive integer solutions is again m minus 1, choose n minus 1.